Hey guys, I'm back and welcome to another edition of the vlog. This is a very special Whitney Watches um, Agent Carter. And uh, this is Marvel's second uh, television series that's in the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I honestly think it surpasses Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in pretty much every way. Um, focusing on Agent Peggy Carter, it is set in the timeline between Captain America the First Avenger and... Uh, the, the short that um, went along with the um, Iron Man 3 DVD um, release, that would be Agent Carter. The premise is that Howard Carter has come to Peggy because he's uh, being looked at as a, um, as a traitor. A number of his devices and formulas and things were stolen, and so he's asking for Peggy's help because he knows that she's not being utilized over at the SSR. Really great writing. Um, what I loved is that it reminded me a lot of the first couple seasons of Alias where everything was very personal. We weren't weighed down in all of the Rimbaldi mythology. It was very personal. It was Sydney trying to figure out where she fit in this new world after her um, fiance died, after she discovered she was working for the bad guys. And in a way, this felt very similar in that Peggy is still struggling with the grief from losing Steve and trying to come to terms with what her life is after the war because she was someone who was very much valued um, as a member of the intelligence community during the war and now after the war she's basically just seen as Captain America's you know arm candy and devalued because of that. So it's, it's really interesting to see where it's going from. Um, Haley Atwell is amazing. She can handle the physicality, the role that just um, requires, and she does a killer, um, a killer American accents. Who knew? She's actually adorable. She can be tough and vulnerable. You know, it takes things like her trying to assess a situation to figure out where to go next and you can see the wheels turning. It's not, you know, like sometimes when you look at like James Bond things where you're like, oh, there's no way he was actually figuring out how to do this. Like you can see the wheels turn. It looks like the big bad that we're going to be dealing with um, in the near future will be Leviathan. We don't know who they are. I would imagine that this would probably be one of the um, surviving factions of Hydra. It would be my guess. Very, very great. One of the things that I really like is that it actually addresses the sexism of the time um, and how difficult it was for women because women were really given the opportunity because of the war to step into the workplace, but then once the war was over, they were expected to just go back to being housewives, to go back to looking for husbands to go back to all of those things. Lots of really great references to Mar Marvel stuff, um, obviously Jarvis. The parallel between Howard and Tony snarking through um, Senate hearings, um, Peggy referencing stuff that Steve had said, like um, stepping on her toes during dancing, um, going to see um, Vanko at Stark Industries, which I'm assuming would be um, Anton Vanko, um, Ivan Vanko's father, um, whiplash. Um, it was just wonderful to see and I really can't wait to see what comes next and it's one of those that I think that because they're they're not limited by having to tie into the cinematic universe um the way that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is that it really is like watching a one-hour movie versus watching a tv series it's just I, I really can't explain it any other way and all I know is that those two hours went by so quickly that I I really, it ended and I was like, it can't possibly be over. If you liked Agent Carter, please try to get more of your friends to watch it. If you can, um, support the show by actually buying the episodes too, in addition to viewing it, so that all of this will count and show Disney and Marvel that maybe we want more. Because I can already tell you right now that eight episodes of this are not going to be enough. If you have any comments, questions, things that you want me to address in the next video, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be the first to find out when I follow these. And then, um, you know what, I'm just going to say go to my website. If you guys want to follow me anywhere on social media, go to my website. Look in the sidebar. Um, my website's WhitneyDrake.com. In the sidebar, you'll see links to my Twitter, my Facebook page my Tumblr account where I'll be sharing Agent Carter stuff, but it's not really safe for work, um, my Instagram, and Google+. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next week.